Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And what is AT&T doing? AT&T recently had, has done some very questionable moves. For one, they've been fairly quiet in the, in the public eye. They haven't, they haven't announced much. They haven't talked much. And now, as of recently, when they do, it's been, it's been fairly bad. It's a lot of a lot of negatives. I'm through all of this. I'm trying to bob and weave and find some positives, but it's been mostly negative uh, talk from AT and T as of recent. So at the a rec at a re recent conference, AT and T spoke and they said AT and T will activate five G standalone core when devices are ready. Um, devices are ready now. I, I don't know. Maybe there's some issues with the bands that they use, potentially. But I know if T-Mobile can do it, because T-Mobile's already running aggregation on standalone between N41 and N71. If T-Mobile can do it, I know AT&T can do it too. I know the devices are capable of doing it, especially with the vast resources that AT&T has. So... I just don't know right now. I don't know. at t is lollygagging around. There's no real direction. There's no real narrative that they're trying to create. It's just, it's, it just sounds like whatever. We'll get there when we get there. Whatever happens, happens. That's like some of the talk that, that they put out. So, and then you've seen the, the, the plan changes um, that are coming. That's kind of, that's a duh too. That's kind of questionable. Why, why? Why even do that? Change to change the name of the of the plan. Unlimited premium. Take away HBO Max. What? What's the? What's the perks now? What do they got? They got nothing. They got nothing. They essentially replaced HBO Max. Took that off completely. That's gone. That's done with. And they added in an additional 10 gigs of hotspot to make up for losing the HBO Max. I don't know. To me, that's to me that's a downgrade, in my opinion. Yeah, they did add the international traveling, traveling, but who uses that on a daily basis? That's more that's more situational. Like, hey, I need to go there for travel. You know, it's for the consumer that's more situational. For business, that may be more useful as they, you know, if they fre frequent. But that plan, is, in my opinion, right now as it stands, and that's going to be the plan moving forward. That's going to be the main advertised plan moving forward. It's the worst plan in the industry. They went from having, you know, something decent, the elite with the HBO Max, HBO Max. Brings a lot of value because it has a lot of content, familiar content and new content coming onto the platform. Now, at t has the worst plan in the industry. The worst. <laughs> yeah, you can make the argument that Verizon still charges uh, an, uh, a $10 add-on for the, for the premium streaming, the 4K. But look at all the stuff that you get with Verizon. Disney Bundle, Apple Music, Apple Arcade. And who knows what else they're, they're going to bring in the future. AT&T, just, eh, we'll, 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 we're going to get rid of HBO Max. and I mean, it's, discount it. Give it for 50% off something. Keep it there. Don't just take it away. But they took it away. We'll see what happens, but for now, uh, like I said, I've been I've been looking for positives, but they're just like I said it, when they speak now, it just sounds like whatever, whatever. We'll get there when we get there, whatever. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get something exciting from AT and T. Stay tuned to the channel, like, share, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.